Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Alligator's Mouth story time. Uh, for the first time, we're doing shop. Um, I'm no longer in my living room, I'm in the shop, and Tony's here. Um, we're going to do a book each. I am going to read Two for Me, One for You by George Moore, and uh, it's published by Gecko Press. And Tony is going to read Edgar and the Sausage Inspector by Jan Fernley, published by Nosy Crow. And then we're going to sing Ten Fat Sausages. It's two for me, one for you. And apologies for the late start, by the way. Sometimes the shop is, the shop is busy, so there might be the other hold up. On her way home, Bear found three mushrooms. Weasel was very excited. He wiped the mushrooms, seared them, seasoned them with plenty of salt and pepper, and let them simmer in the frying pan with a little parsley. Sounds good. Bear dished up. One mushroom for you and one mushroom for me, she said. And another mushroom for me, that's fair. I'm big, so I need to eat a lot. Weasel did not agree. One mushroom for me, one mushroom for you, and another one for me. That's fair. I'm small and I still have to grow. One for you, two for me, that's fair because I found the mushrooms. That's not fair at all. You brought them home to me and I did all the work. I wiped the mushrooms and seared them and seasoned them and simmered them in the heavy pan with parsley. Hmm. Who's that coming along? But you used my recipe and I set the table. And anyway, I like mushrooms much more than you do, said Bear. Mushrooms are my absolute all-time favorite number one food and I'm so hungry you can hear my stomach grumbling. Hmm. Wait, I'm much bigger than you so my hunger is bigger. My stomach's been grumbling so long it's gone croaky. But I said first that my stomach's grumbling. But I wanted the extra mushroom first. One mushroom less won't hurt you. Too many mushrooms aren't good for little weasels or fat bears. Okay, that does it. Two for me, one for you, and that's it. In that case, you're not my friend anymore. Huh? Hey! Um. Bye. Bear and Weasel were stunned. The cheek of it, they shouted. Totally unfair. Can you believe it? He just swiped our mushroom. But then they wished each other bon appetit. And the mushrooms tasted wonderful. There was even dessert. Wild strawberries, cried Bear, delighted. My absolute all-time number one food. Weasel dished them up. How many? Oh dear. I think they're going to have to learn the art of compromise or sharing even. The end. There we go. That's two for me, one for you by Gecko Press, or published by the Gecko Press by George Moore. And here Tony is going to jump in with Edgar and the Sausage Inspector. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Um, it is nice to join these, these story time sessions. Um, doesn't food taste better when you're not arguing about it? 
um, in this one, there's more food and an inspector comes along, an inspector calls. Um, and this is called Edgar and the Sausage Inspector by Jan Fernley, who has done some lovely other books. And I wish we could get hold of more of them, publishers. Um, this starts with Edgar, and I think he lives in Paris for some strange reason. There's little Paris illusions through the pictures. And this is Edgar, and that is his sister, Edith. And they live somewhere up this street. Edgar and his sister, Edith, lived in a funny little house at the end of a narrow little alley. Edgar loved Edith and tried to make her happy every day. One day, Edith was feeling particularly hungry, so Edgar went to get something special for dinner. What will it be? I wonder. It wasn't long before he spotted Edith's favourite thing. <gasps> A nice string of sausages. Edith loved sausages. Edgar hurried home, feeling very pleased with himself. But then, a loud voice said, Hold it right there! A rat in a hat was blocking the way. I am the inspector. He declared, I inspect things. I need to look in that bag. Can't argue with that. Edgar had never met the inspector before. The rat looked very important and he was wearing a hat. So Edgar let the inspector look inside. <gasps> Just as I suspected, he nodded. Bad sausages. I must take them away at once for further inspection. And the rat snatched the sausages and ran off, squeezing through a hole in the wall. <gasps> there he's gone, taking the sausages. <laughs> there he. But he is an inspector and he's wearing a hat. Edgar and Edith had to make do with dry crackers for dinner that night. Edith could hardly believe it. And it looks like she's been working very hard. You decided to make up for losing the sausages with something delightful for Edith from the patisserie next door. Look at that. Cakes and biscuits, and macaroons, all oh, lovely. She'll be thrilled, he thought. But when he turned back down the alley, hold it right there, boomed a familiar voice. It was the inspector again. This time the inspector had a hat and a badge. He looked very important and decidedly plumper than before. I was right about the sausages, he said. They were, mmm, bad. Are those cakes? asked the inspector. I've heard bad reports about bad cakes. I'd better inspect them, hand them over. But they're my cakes, said Edgar. No complaining, said the inspector. I've got a hat and a badge. You'd better do as you're told. Oh, don't argue with a hat and a badge. Edgar watched miserably as the inspector grabbed the cakes 
and squeezed through a hole in the wall, and he trailed home with empty paws. Edith was not thrilled. That rat took our cakes too. He had a hat and a badge, said Edgar. That night, Edith ate a jar of pickles. Edgar had a limp stick of celery. His tummy rumbled like a monster all night long. He just been decorating and fixing things by the look of it. The next day, Edith was ravenous. I'm not surprised. She told Edgar she wanted cakes, sausages, cheese and ice cream and all sorts of nice things. Edgar was determined to take home a feast. His basket was heavy as he trundled down the alley and he couldn't wait to show Edith, but... Hold it right there. The inspector blocked the way. This time he had a hat, a badge, and a notebook, which rested against his huge belly. He looked extremely important and very pleased with himself. Here comes Edgar. A hat, a badge, and a notebook. It sounds like trouble. I was right about the sausages. I was right about the cakes. They were mm, mm, bad. He sniffed Edgar's basket. He licked his lips and put a big tick in his notebook. Just as I suspected, all this food is very bad indeed. It is my official duty to take it all. He seized the basket and started to pull it down the alley. But Edgar had had enough. He's dropped food all the way. Hold it right there, shouted Edgar. Edgar snatched the basket back, sending everything tumbling to the ground. The inspector filled his paws with whatever he could and made for a hole in the fence. But the rat was now so fat he could hardly run. Stop! yelled Edgar, chasing the cheeky little fat little juicy looking rat as he waddled rather deliciously away. Grapes, cheese, cake. Huffing and puffing, the inspector tried to squeeze himself through the hole in the fence, but he was far too fat and far too slow. And Edgar was right behind him. Can you see his shadow? That evening, Edith dined like a queen. Oh, Edgar, you have spoiled me. What a delicious feast. But Edgar wasn't hungry. Whatever is the matter, asked Edith. Where is your appetite? Have you been eating in between meals? Look, he's got a hat and a badge. Edgar smiled a secret smile, straightened his hat and polished his badge, and he put a big tick in his notebook. Yes, I did have a cheeky little something earlier, he smiled. It was very fat and juicy, and just as I suspected, it was. Mmm, 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 bad. Oh, I love that book. It makes me hungry. Hungry for sausages. And mushrooms. Sausages and mushrooms and cake and patisserie and cheese. Um, I think we've covered everything. 
shall we do a song? And how should we do this? Should we? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. I can go and get my mask. I will go and get Should my mask. mask. We'll do the mask thing. thing. You know, stay safe. We'll be. And the chords up there. So the chords for this song are um, in the video description if you would like to, to learn it. The chords are. C, which is that on the ukulele, tar, and G, which is that, baby, tar, and F. Those are all chords. And so you um, thank you all for watching. Uh, both these books are available to buy um, on the Alligator's Mouth. I'll put links up. Um, to buy them in the video in, within the next half hour or so, but they'll be on the website shop on the picture books. So, we have it. Um, Let's try. Okay, I'll do it with me. Yes. Point a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There you go. It's 10 fat sausages. Maybe you know the words. Maybe you know how to count backwards from 10 in twos, because I'm not sure we do. <laughs> And here we go. Uh, ten fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Ten fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, the other went bang. There were eight fat sausages and eight. Eight fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Eight fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, the other went bang. There'll be six fat sausages sitting in the pan. They're fat sausages, not green sausages, like I said. <laughs> if I green sausages. <laughs> Here we go. Six, Six green sausages sizzling in the pan. Six green sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, the other went down. There'll be four green sausages sizzling in the pan. Four fat sausages. And they be green. Here we go. And we have four fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Four fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, the other went bang. There were two fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Only two left now. Just a couple of Two fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Two fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, the other went bang. A boom. There were no fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One left. All gone. All the Thank you for singing along, I hope. <laughs> um, hope your counting was better than mine. Hope your colours of sausages were better than mine. Um, because I get that so wrong. I hope you have a really yummy lunch. Whatever you're eating. I try not to buy favourite and don't trust any sausage inspectors. No! Beware the people with hats and badges. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.